Fire Mountain on the move, and in the next month, it will be entirely gone. Good morning. So glad you're with us here on this finally Friday. I'm John Paul. Caitlin's off this morning. Discarded tires from the city and county tire redemption program slowly being removed from South Memphis. That's where we find local 24 News reporter Dave Dentling this morning. Dave, you're working to find out if these tires are going to be recycled. Yeah, exactly. That's the question. Will they be recycled? Because the original contractor hired to pick them up said he couldn't take them to a recycling center because the tires were too dirty. Now the city is stepping in and right now the piles of rubber, they look a lot smaller. One pile at a time. Tires are being removed. The city says they've been working on this issue since the controversy started earlier this year. As we've reported, the city didn't have permission from the landowner to dump the tires at this location. They've been waiting on permission from from the owner to remove them. Yesterday, they got the green light and the process began. As for the dirt on the tires, the city will be doing the cleaning themselves. Neighbors say it's about time. They was loading them on a truck and I just hope they go on and move them and take care of them like they're supposed to. We're processing with the equipment. We're using our machine back here, the excavator, to try to remove as much of the, the visible dirt or, or dirt accumulation and then loading them out. Again, this entire process should take about a month. Crews are expected to be back here this morning to remove more tires. Roughly 28,000 tires still remain at this site. We're live in South Memphis this morning. Dave Detling, Good Day Memphis.